Okay, so we asked for to find the medium number of people on the buses. Now, there are multiple methods to find uh, the median. I'm just going to show one of them. Now, a formula that's really helpful for the median is to find the position of the median, you do n plus 1 over 2. Okay, so you work out how many there are in total, which we can do on the calculator, 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 8 plus 13, which is just all the frequencies added together, which is 29. Add 1 to it and halve it. So that's going to be 30 divided by 2, which is 15. Now this gives us the position of the median, which is going to be useful. Something else I write on a table is the running total. So we're just going to do a running total, so it's only one in the first one. Then we're going to add the three there to get four. Going to add the four there to get eight. Going to add the eight there to get 16. And we're going to add the 13 there, and hopefully that should give us 29. Now, these numbers here, 16th and 29th, give us the uh, largest number uh, the largest position in that uh, section. So the first value is the biggest one in this second or this first group. The fourth value is the biggest one in this group. The eighth value is the biggest one in this group. Sixteenth value is the biggest one in this group. And finally, the twenty-ninth value is the biggest one in that group. So we're looking for the fifteenth value. Now, if the 8th value is the biggest one in the 4 people group, then the 15th value must be in the uh, group with 5 people. So it must be in the group with 5 people. Now, a few other ways you can do this is you can write out the numbers um, in one long list. That's easy for this question because there's only 29 values. I say it's easy, that would take you a while, but um, if in the exam there's 100 values, that's slightly harder to do it for. Uh, another way of doing it is just having a look at the frequencies. There's 13 in this, and there's kind of 13 in kind of this bit here. So it's going to have to be in this group here. There's loads of different methods for this. The method I've just shown you now is definitely the most versatile method to use. So it's a good one to use if you haven't got a um, one that you are used to so far.